All right, guys, a uh, quick video. This uh, connector just came in while I was recording the previous video, so I decided let's put it on the test. And so we're ready for 360 giga hash uh, firmware upgrade. So what I did, I ran uh, this on my uh, tester, which is this little device. And I've done it for 20 minutes at 203 watts so basically uh, I can boost it up to uh, 12 amp 220 watts I don't know if you could see that let's a little bit closer right so you could see 217 watt and I'm using 12 amp on it dropped 18 volt just because bunch of these wires so what I'm doing is I'm using this uh, server PSU the step up converter it's actually really, really hot because it's 190 watt rated. I pretty much overloaded it, but uh, just for that test video, I want to make sure uh, to see what we're getting from this uh, converter. If we can use 190 or we're going to burn it. So for short 20 minutes, it's okay, but it's getting hot. Now, the, my main point of this video is to test this uh, cables that we're going to be connecting to our KS Pro, KS Zero Pro. It's five and a half by two and a half connectors. Uh, what's going on with the right there? Uh, so you can see this is a nicely well designed cables with the XT60 connector. Now what I did, I just got this female connector that's going to be enable me to connect these two guys and put it on the test that's what i did in this setup so i did connect it this it came in the pair so i had an extra one connected just right here and then my second one is connected right there to 19 volt converter over here so now my cable here from 12 volt is really really hot at 200 watts is pretty much uh, using a lot of uh, amperage on this cable um, using just single one because it's actually 16 gauge and it's three wires on each so it's capable of holding about seven amp uh, each wire and in this settings it's it's it should handle but it's actually a connector that we need to worry about because this is going to get over uh, heated so let's take a look at some temperatures because this connector it got warm to touch it's not hot but it is warm so uh, is it safe to use i don't know you guys gonna have to do your own research and how you're gonna be using your 19 volt uh, power supplies on a 200 watt because it all depends if this connector is capable of holding that much amperage so the uh, my hope is that at 19 volts it's not going to be like what we tested before it's not going to be full 10 or 12 amp uh, it's going to be around 8.5 or 9 amps which is going to be a lot lower so we kind of put it this test to the extreme and our connector is about 80 we were getting 80. Uh, where is it it's kind of warm to touch but it's showing on this 70. oh here you go 88 90 so we gotta stay a little bit focused there okay 80. so as we're getting closer we get some different readings but i think the maximum is was 80. 90 was probably from this heater coming in produce a lot a lot of heat so yeah so we in average around maximum of 80 degree on these connectors that's about 76 about 80 degrees on this connector which actually this a lot cooler to touch than this my main concern is this wire this cable is handling 10 amps so it's with being loaded on 12 amps. I'm really happy with the result. Uh, the temperatures are not overkill. Obviously, their environment oh, right there. You can read a little better. So it's getting up to 80, 89 degree, which is the 32 degrees. 
so it's a warm to touch it's not overheating or any much hotter than the uh, other connectors now here we have 35 39 degree which is a lot warm it's 102 Fahrenheit so I guess the uh, connectors is being almost to the limit that's why I think if I'm using single I'm gonna use two uh, two of the wires connecting like a your 380 GPU basically like 3080 or 4080 GPU you would connect with the two wires at least or maybe three wires and then similar settings if I'm gonna use in two GPUs I'm gonna be using three wires just to offload these connectors on the breakboard of the server PSU. So I'm really happy with the result. I guess I ran it for almost a half an hour here. I don't know if you guys could see that. Yeah, right there. So the time is 27 minutes. I just give it a time so it's tested out uh, for some some time. Obviously the temper ambient temperature here is 65 degrees and it's cooler so if you get in the environment where it's about 80 or 90 degree this is gonna get a lot hotter this connector so right now it's the about 20 degree more than even temperature or uh something close to that about 20 25 degree more right so um but it's still it's not hot i think it's pretty safe there's nothing melting there is nothing being um, damaged so uh, let's take a look actually on this power supply how hot it is I don't believe this is at 70 what what feels a lot warmer oh, okay right there I measure on the top it's a hundred and 15 degree that is 46 degrees Celsius so it is kind of hot obviously it's not extreme hot but it is hot on on touch so if we are on top it's we get in a hundred uh, 15 110 degrees uh, Fahrenheit watch 115 right so the hottest point I guess are 16 let's compare to our other minor uh, converter that it's loaded under half 50 percent yeah it's only 85 degree and don't forget it has also these fans running so the fans are actually helping to cool cool this um, converter down quite a bit so it's really uh, cool to touch so it's really nice job doing those fans again thanks for watching that's the uh, hopefully uh, that helps anyone making decision on this cable however I'm still concerned about the connectors in Ice River Pro hopefully they'll be capable of holding so I'll be testing once I be able to overclock those I'll plug it in and measure temperatures and also I'll be testing the uh, actual amperage on the device so it's more important than just your power at the wall because at the wall you may get an extra 10 or 15 percent more because of your efficiency of your PSU all right so thanks for watching see you on the next one